Hello, it's Coach, and I'm doing Mania 34 this Sunday, the 8th. So here, W's left the door open to surprise you. Seen a taker, not listed. Will taker show up? I mean, do they have room for it? They have so much other stuff going on. So maybe it's not. But why would it after all the build? Why wouldn't it? What's going to happen, and how are they going to present it to you? Who's going to win the Andre? There's no real front runner. Who's going to win the woman's? There's no real front runner. The two you think would win are in a feud against each other who are obviously going to eliminate each other to build the feud more. I mean, you got tag matches for the belt that you got the SmackDown tag titles work. All three of those teams easily make sense. Who's Strowman's partner? Another way. Another way in there. Who's going to turn heel in the Owen Zane match? Somebody is. Can Ronda go? She can fight. Can she wrestle? Uh, just uh, What is going to be on the pre-show? Is the Cruiserweight Finals going to be a pre-show? That's not right. Is, is this is this, this, this? You know, there's you just don't know. A triple threat match for the IC belt. I think you got two definite guys that could win that. I mean, there are some matches you feel like are already determined. But looking at this card, legitimately, even the ones you definitely are sure of in your head, I think there's only one here, in my opinion, has like more than a freaking 60% chance. I don't know. I'll, I'll kind of, like, as I go through, like tell you my opinion on the chances. So, Cena Taker, will it happen? I think so. I, and I'm really excited to see how they, like, surprise me with it and how it happens. Um, does Cena win? Does Taker win? Does it help either one? Do you, does T, you know, you're supposed to go out on your back, but he went on his back last year. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm picking Cena. And I, I just don't even know if that's the right call, storyline, or future-wise for anybody. Cena's probably taking some time off. Taker's probably taking ever off. So, you know, does it help anybody? Does it hurt everybody? You know, um, Angle and Ronda against Triple H and Stephanie. Angle and Ronda have to win, of course. I've heard rumors of it going on as the main event. I don't even know how those have started. I, I don't even think the WWE was even fed that. Like, I don't think that's an option uh if it does okay i'm wrong and that happens frequently so no one's surprised but like no it's not happening until it happens daniel bryan making his return huge mania moment with shane mcmahon against owens and zane owens and zane will win because they're not getting fired unless they went over to raw so they don't really need them right now. They're best on SmackDown, making that better. Um, Brian just came back. You'd kill so much momentum. He ain't turning. Shane McMahon is turning and joining Owens and Zayn. He's been against him the whole time. It's the greatest swerve ever in Mania history. And McMahon's like going heel. I mean, wait, that was awesome when heel. Vince was already heel. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Andre Battle Royal. There is a... Uh, a lot of dudes in this. Uh, Mojo Rally for the repeat. No, I'm kidding. Matt Hardy. I'm going Matt Hardy. That should be good. Uh, if they want to waste a complete reveal of the comeback of Bray Wyatt, they could do it then and have him win. But I think that would just be dumb. I want Matt to win. Or, at the least, some chimes and some video package. And you don't really see Bray or know what's going on with Bray. But he distracts Matt to lose. But he would have won. And then somebody unlikely wins. Maybe. But... I hope they just don't fall out. Go here's Bray, wasted on a battle royal. He's in the lake of rejuvenation or whatever they call it. Don't do that. All right, women's battle royal, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going Mandy Rose. Um, she's got a lot of upstardom, and I just I want to pick Bailey or Banks. I think they should win it. 
But I don't think either one will because of their feud. I think that's going to hinder it. I think the story, to continue the story well, one of them, they're both going to screw each other over. One's going to elim- I think Bailey eliminates Banks fairly, and then Banks chips her out after. You know the whole Sid Vicious Hulk Hogan thing? You cost Sid a championship, Hogan. Forgiveness will not be made for you. I actually, mm, or on topic, I want Hogan on this show. I love Hulk Hogan and I need to see him. Come on, forgive. He drunk and said stupid things. He's sorry, I think. I hope. I don't condone, I do not condone those words. Put that evil on me, Ricky. All right, so the finals of Cruiserweight Championship. Cedric Alexander, Mustafa Ali. It's going to be broken up, okay? No contest. Of nowhere, Enzo's gonna come out, and no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I really, 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 really hope Ali wins this. Um, the build has been amazing since he got to the WWE on him just building himself off social media about the dream and believing. And now this opportunity is one for them to crown, like to make that a moment. Uh, it's looking like it's gonna be on the pre-show. I'm gonna be super awful mad about it. But hopefully they, uh, pretty sure or not, they take the reins off and let these two just go. Like, 17 falsies. Nothing less. All right, something like that. I'm rambling, but there's a lot to go off. And this is my fifth video today, so. I might do a video about making videos. That's how many I've done. Um, championship. There is no order in this. But, uh, tag team championships, Uso. So against the New Day, against the Bludgeon Brothers. Anybody could win, but I'm going Bludgeon Brothers. Uh, I think there's a lot of up in that to get the new, you know, it's not new blood, but it's new blood because the Bludgeon Brothers are not what the names used to be. Um, new blood in the division for them to start picking everybody off, you know, because the Usos been picking everybody off, and the New Day did pick everybody off, so I think it's their turn. Um... They are going to have to get some fresh blood for them to beat up because they beat up a lot of the undercard teams um, that could have grabbed no venom, no mo venom, mo venom, mo venom, mo rally to come and grab them. So yeah, got to do some work there. But Strowman and a mystery partner is it Taker? Is it Bray Wyatt? It's none of those. I hope it's Lita, Trish Stratus, Repo Man, Brooklyn Brawler. Kamala's wheelchair. I don't know. It could be anybody. Uh, against the bar. I'm going Strowman. Uh, and if it is the bar that wins, uh, Strowman's going to look strong. And his partner's getting pinned. Or counted out or something. Um, or the bar will get disqualified. Hmm. Because there's not much upside for Brom to have the tag titles. He doesn't need help up with that. So uh, either they lose them quick or they don't win them at all. But uh, they don't. Brown don't take no fall. Nope, nope. I've heard the rumor of Elias, and if they would have kept him out with the injury longer, I'd go for it, but I think this is a terrible idea to do it with him back and competing already. Like, there's no website in that. There's no story to that. Because you haven't built on them talking and acting like they might like each other now or anything. If Brain and Braun can be in the same spot at the same time, that'd be cool. Uh, Flair and Asuka. Charlotte Flair against Asuka. Asuka's gonna win. This is the first fight I get to that I feel like, other than Owens and Zayn that I did, because uh, I feel like Owens and Zayn have to win. Uh, well, I feel like Ronda has to win. But they could do whatever they wanted in those. I'm going to dissipate from that subject. Um, Flair and Asuka. Asuka's going to win. It'd be a wasted story if she didn't. But I think it's going to be a phenomenal match. Maybe the best ever in women's history. On Mania. Bliss against Jax. I go I go Jax. It's a great bully overcoming overcoming story. They did a great job of making the monster be the bully because anybody can be picked on. Anybody can be ostracized. Anybody can feel like the littlest thing. And that's the most amazing story. Yeah, she'd go out there and kill everybody else, but her own friend would sit there and make her cry. Why don't she just slug her? Because she made her feel little. So she stood up. And then she's going to take the belt. Now, I love Alexa Bliss, and I don't want her to lose the belt for nothing. I want her to be the champion until forever day. Who's up, dude? And so, um, but yeah, Jax needs to win it. Purely off this is a story for the kids, man. So, four-way U.S. championship, Orton, Rude, Jinder Mahal, Rusev. 
I want Rusev to win. I want it to be Rusev Day. It probably won't happen, but that's what I'm picking because I can do that. So triple threat match. Miz, the IC Championship. Miz, Rollins, Balor. Uh, it'd be cool if the Demon showed up. If the Demon shows up, he's winning. But if he doesn't show up, Rollins is winning, in my opinion. So I guess I'm going Baylor because it's a pretty good shot at Mania showing up. Uh, Miz, I would love him to hold on to it. But his baby's due two days before Mania, so I think he's going to take some time off. AJ against Nakamura. I think Nakamura wins, so just do... There's a million chances for Cinderella stories on this card. More than, like, ever, in my opinion. So, I'm going with Nakamura. Also, Lesnar. Roman to finish it off. We're going Roman. They've been building it for, like, three years. It's gonna happen. And, uh, Les... Um, Lesnar's going back to the UFC. They've already confirmed it, which he's done both at the same time before, so it doesn't really say much. It doesn't mean he's completely done. Or just they're not going to change what they've had built. He's had the belt for a year. They won it last Mania. I just think it's... He did, I think. Uh, I just think it's where it's at. Where it's at. Where it's at. So, um... Yeah, Roman to get that big story. And hopefully the fans get behind it. The, the WWE's working their butt off to get them behind him the last few weeks on Raw. And I think they're doing a pretty good job. But I just think the, the senses, the consensus, like, uh, not everybody in that building watched Raw the last four weeks. Everybody goes to Mania that's around. And that, like, a lot of casual fans still go, like. So he might it might not be in a resounding, we love Roman. But I think they've done a great job to build. And I think a lot of the issues are, like, finally they kind of gave him his own identity and, like, the comeback and the story. And, you know, just old school, like, beat on, overcome. And before, they've always tried to rewrite things. Like, we're going to make him the next rock with witty lines. Well, his mic work isn't the greatest. It, it, he is masterful on the mic if you keep it simple. And they were trying not to do that. Uh, like, he is the best. Like, he can make one line better than your entire promo. So why make him cut a 10-minute promo? There's no reason for it. Because the one line isn't going to save nine minutes of not great. But that one line is all you need. So uh, then they tried to make him like Austin against the boss. Nobody cared. And everybody's beat up McMahon at this point. So it's not that big of a deal. And he's like 70. Stop punching him. I don't care if he assaults your mother. Don't beat the elderly. Unless your mother's old. Because then it's tip for tip. No, still no. All right. That's my mania one. This one's a long one. A lot of matches. A lot of opinions. I like to share, but nobody listen to me. So I make YouTube do it, and I get my eight views, you know, so you eight people, I'm sorry for. All right, bye-bye.